Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggiero here at Clark Commando 1983. It's November 11th, 2023. Cancer is allowing me a little bit of energy to do. This is Avalon Hill Anzio After Action Report. Report. Learn how to play. We're going to do the October 1st turn. I believe. Let me double check that. And uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Hope you're enjoying this. We'll see how much further I'm going to get. I'm still having a good time doing it. Playing this once again as a reminder, like it's the campaign game. Um, I still got to go find a couple things. So I'll just make a couple of really quick pointers. I uh, hope I don't butcher his name, but Rich Valley has been a really tremendous help on, uh, on uh, his uh, comments. If you are so inclined, I highly recommend that you um, read his comments. And my goal with this is to learn to play. I appreciate his comments. Uh, he's really made some really good points, um, which I've implemented a couple of them here. It's been a few days. I just had chemo, so I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know how we say, under the weather, I guess. He did point out to me that uh, I had some other E-rats and German replacements, so I brought on... Um, the two that I was owed, which were both infantry, so there's no accumulated ones. I uh, believe the allies, I think I still have that correct, that they're still all on board. Um, and so we're going to start the October 1st turn. So the first thing that's going to happen is, um, let's see here, we're going to check for reinforcements. And it looks like the allies are going to get some, none in this turn. They do get two more replacement points, which I believe, I'm sure Rich will correct me if I'm wrong, they're all on the board already, or in the queue, sitting in Sicily. I'm going to look on the order of battle here. And that is correct. So... None do. Rich also pointed out, like, why did I not bring on some more troops in Messina and Taranto? Because I'm playing poorly. No better way to do it. But I am having a good time, and I'm trying to get you guys uh, the rules. That's the my main goal here. So, and like I said, once again, I will reiterate, read his comments. He's really honestly dead on. And uh, very good advice, excellent advice. So that being said, um, we're going to continue with the Allied turn. Um, so for there's no reinforcement. We're well within our supply capacity. Uh, we still have not captured an airfield. Uh, one thing I did do, Rich, I didn't break them all down, but I did break down a couple of units into their regimental equivalents. I haven't redeployed them yet, but I did do that. So thank you for that. Uh, this is a wonderful game. I'm having a great time, and I hope you're enjoying it. So let's see here. So the first thing we're going to do is the Allies. Oh, weather. Let's see. Is there any weather October 1st? Yes, we actually need to roll for weather. It could turn to mud. And I haven't been showing you the die rolls because I don't have room in my current setup. I'm working on a new setup for my gaming area. So let's see here. So we're going to roll the dice. It looks like on a one or a two, we're going to have mud. And we get a six. So it stays clear, which I think is good for the allies, right? Because then we don't have to worry about uh, mud. 
Now yeah, let's see. Oh, the Germans are going to get a fort this turn. And I know that Rich told me the hex to put it in, and I forgot which one. So let's look at first things first. I mean, I got like all the troops on board. Let's do what I have. Uh, got the first infantry division, it looks like, sitting here. And the, got my lighting. I can't wait. I'm getting new lighting installed. So that's going to help. The 34th Infantry Division from the U.S. And we got some replacements. So we have a buildup of 12. Now, Rich had pointed out to me, oh, this is great. Good job, Cancer Fingers. Um... Oh, maybe that's what he meant, the city. There's a buildup of six. Plus 12, so 18. So six up here in this little port here, it looks like. <coughs> or is that a... No, that's an invasion area. That's not a... Uh, so I don't know... No, well, anyways, I'm just going to go with it. I know he'll correct me when I'm wrong. All I see is a build up here that's available to me in Salerno. Now, of course, I got Taranto and Messina available, but we're not going to do anything with it at this point. So we're going to land, we'll bring those guys on there. And looks like for defense, south of Naples, we've got. Five and eight is thirteen, and uh, kind of the clear here. So let's see what I can attack this with. Uh, movements by hex side. Oh, what am I doing? That's the first there. Well, that's the ninth infantry division, not the first. Okay. So we've got 13, huh? I got two, because it's hex side, four. Okay. Two, four, that's 10. That's, and that's eight stacking points. So that's maxed out. And looks like you got 13. If I do that, so that's a one-to-one. -one. Let's see, I can't, can't get it to two-to-one, so we'll leave it at one-to-one. -one. This hex here is going to defend with three. This looks like this is pretty impregnable. Well, we'll see six, seven, eight, nine, doubled to 18. Well, we might be able to get a one-to-one -on, -one on that. I'd like to try to keep the pressure up. Let's see here. Eight. And nine. Oh, so we said 18, right? Because one, two, three, six, nine, doubled because they're in the mountains. There's 18. Man, that's going to be ugly, isn't it? Ugh. And then this hex is in the, mount, in the mountains. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, it needs to be in the mountains. And that would defend with, ooh, 10. Eleven. Ouch. Be twenty-two. Where is it here? Shit. Yeah, we'll go there. Twenty-two. Ouch. So we got a one to one there. We got eighteen here. So I think we can get eighteen. So we're gonna go two, three, that's five. One, 
two, three. One, two, three, four. So I say eight plus five is thirteen. Seventeen. And we'll do eighteen. That gives us one to one their support. But, oh, excuse me. And the Brits. Let's see, you got 22 defending in that hex. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we're going to land some replacements, by the way, too. One, two, because we're going to probably need some. Three, four. And the Germans, oh, they got one here, okay. Let's see, so I landed eight, nine, ten, whoops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's a bunch of replacements. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. That literally leaves us one allied unit sitting in Sicily. So we get the whole order of battle out right now. Um, hopefully I'm not in the way. So 22. We got this hex defending at 7. You know what? I'm going to need to put him in the mountains too, I think. Yeah. That would have been smarter. So we're going to correct that. So that will be a defense of 14. And we got this guy. I think we're going to attack him. Seven factors in the open. We got Fogia. No, we're not going to go after Fogia just yet. Here we go. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's three. Oops. And eight. Oops. Thirteen. Going on the flank. Let me know if you're too smart. Yeah. We got five, eight, thirteen, fourteen. That's a two to one. Six, seven, eight. That's the Alpine hex. Let's see. That's the Alpine hex side there, isn't it? Yeah, it takes all their movement. So they'll go there. Let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's see if we can get a one to one here. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. Is 
days can you get through here? So seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Thirteen. Fourteen. So we got a two to one. Let's mark them with our handy dandy little dice. We got uh, one to one there. If my big fat head's been in the way, I hope not. That's more of my little baby dice. I use these for marking odds in a lot of games. Got a one to one there. Two to one here. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be either a big flop. And I do need to go online. There is an updated step reduction table that I just have not had the energy or the time to go download yet. So Sorry, Rich. All right, and that's a one-to-one. -one. So we've got a lot of attacks going on. Let's move the commandos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, I don't really wanna stick my winky out, do I? No. All right. Well, let's put them here. We can add a defense factor. I'm going to do that now just so I don't forget. That's going to be for defense. Now, I do have these troops, don't I? Let's win them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this is on this other side of the river. Then go to there. Um, and then my two airborne regiments. One, two, three, four. No real reason to put them in the front lines. Five, six. So no, we could, if we get blown back here, we can retreat. The mountains. And we're going to go ahead and land. And we'll put. You know, what's the. Okay. So we'll put three of the American replacements in Salerno. South. Just to be ready. And like I said, I couldn't find anything in the rules, the advanced rules, that talks about the replacements being um, specific. So, but it is interesting. And we'll stick these guys over here so they can get to wherever they need to be. But they are British and American replacements, so I'm not quite sure um, where he has that. So, Rich, I'm relying on you to point it out to us, my friend. All right, well, let's bust out the dice tower here. And we will start with the one-to-one. -one. And hopefully I don't blow this. We're going to start the one-to-one -one here just south of Naples. We want to roll low. Yes, we do want to roll low, don't we? And we get a one. Wow. Let's see. Or, yep, a one. So, this one... 
And that's lucky. Just so you could show you the chart. So we got, we traded the defense, right? Five, 13. We're gonna retreat to Naples. And I gotta take, so the defender takes two losses and retreats. So let's see what we got here available to take for losses. Oh man, I need my, I can't, my, I don't know if it's because it's late. But the Fraz, Frazamanaz, and the third Panzer Grenadier Division. I think that's the last step. So we can flip the Fraz to reduced. And what's left of the third Panzer Grenadier Division. Let me check on it make sure that that is the case that that's the last step and oh it's not oh wait that's the uh herman during regimental breakdown yes that is the last step of the third panzer grenadier so they'll both flip to their um and they'll go one, two, and the allies take one step loss. So we'll take that on the 30, 36th, I think. Yes. And we'll advance. And we're a chicken, so we're going to try this. Let's do this. We'll, eh. Oh, boy, if I roll bad. Let's see. Do that. Well, and then that. And we'll take the loss on the uh, 3rd Infantry Division, I think. So he's going to go from, I think that's the 3rd. Yeah, yes, he's going to go from a 4, 5, 12 down to, let's see, 3rd U.S., down to a two three twelve. And we'll advance in here. All right. So we're just south of Naples, but we're taking losses. But the important part I think is the Germans are taking losses. So now we got the next one, the one to one on the mountains. Whoops. And I got a two. Wow, okay. So they each take a loss. And there's no retreat. I don't know if the Nurbel Warfare can flip over or not. Huh, that's a good question. I think they can. Rich, correct me if I'm wrong. I can fix that in the next play. So I'm going to flip the Nürburgring to take the German loss. And I will flip over the paratroopers for the Americans. I guess I should highlight them a different color, huh? When you flip, you can't tell. So the advantage to that... Oh boy, that does leave that hex very weak. Okay, yeah, because the Germans are going to be able to launch a counterattack. They are in the mountains. Ugh, another poor choice by Mark Ruggiero. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'm going to leave it there and, and uh, try to live with it. And just play with my poor play. So the next one to one down the line.
And that one's a five. Yeah, that's ugly. So the defender here is going to take one loss. I didn't use up those two air, so they're not available. And this is one of my ERASH units. And I don't believe they get a foot step loss. So let's take the step loss on the 26th Armored Division, or Panzer Division. Okay, that's, uh, yep, that is the 26th. Oh, that's the 15th Panzer Grenadier. Where's the 26th Panzer? Is it the 16th? No, it's the 26th. So, it's replaced by a 4, 5, 12. Okay. And no retreat. Oh, and the allies are going to take four step losses. That's brutal. And they have to retreat because I'm in a mountain hex. And uh, they got to take double. So that's, man, ouch. Very painful. So let's see here. We're going to end up with. Uh, excuse me, some flip units, I think. But, all right, well, let's see here. We're going to uh, retreat one hex. So we're going to go, let's see, what's this guy here? Oh, man, good thing I got a magnifying glass. I recommend that with aging eyes. There's a 46th Infantry Division of the British. Is that right? 46, it is. So that's going to flip. And they're going to end up retreating. Uh, shoot. All right. Well, let's put them back for now. The Indian Division is going to flip. That's two. And put him there. Uh, and uh, it's just the fifth British Infantry Division. And get on to a two three twelve. Uh, that's three, and then he'll flip for four losses. That is ugly. And then I gotta re execute the retreat. I'm gonna move my box here so I don't flip it over by accident. All right, well, crap, we're in trouble here. Uh, one, two, how many stacking points is that? Three, okay. Uh, one, two. Go one. One, two. Let's leave these guys in danger. If the Germans can get a counterattack, then we have to do that. So maybe that should be when I might have to do the uh, Germans as a separate video. Just because I'm going to have to give some thought to what they're going to do in their turn. All right. So then we have the two to one there over by Fogia. Uh, and we get a two. And a, wow. That's, all right. That's pretty. Couldn't ask for much better than that. Allies take no losses. And the Germans are going to take one and have to retreat. So the one air point they get can come off. Uh, 
thing then. This loss is going to come from, that is the 16th. So yes, the Germans are going to be a separate video, folks. That's for sure, because I'm going to have to give it some thought and uh, try to improve my game a little bit. So 16th Panzer takes a loss. And they still have, unless I'm wrong, the Germans are still going to have air superiority. And we're going to retreat uh, one hex. You know, two hexes. You know, it really doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, one hex. And the Allies will advance. We're going to advance. Let's see. Uh, we'll advance the armored unit. And we're a big chicken shit. We really don't want to leave any options. Ugh. Shoot. All right. Well, that was a mistake. You know what? That was a mistake. I'm going to allow myself a mulligan and put that guy there. All right, um, so that's going to wrap up the Allied turn. The Germans in their turn, which we will continue on the next video, which is unusual, but this took about, looks like about 30 minutes. So once again, this is Mark Ruggiero, a.k.a. Clark Commando, with the uh, Avalon Hill Anzio 4th Edition, playing the advanced game rather poorly as a learn to play after action report. Uh, theoretically, with the 76 turn campaign, um, I don't think I'm gonna get that far, obviously, but uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna play it for a little bit longer. Got my big cancer garage sale tomorrow. And uh, yeah, sadly, you're gonna have to We'll see how my garage sale goes tomorrow. So uh, thanks a lot and uh, be well and uh, like, etc. And I should put that up front. Make sure you look down in the description if you watch this far. I have some links to a lot of game companies. Me and Elvie's uh, GoFundMe. And uh, we do appreciate the thoughts and prayers and what, you know, everything else so thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon bye